Hey friends, hello there. Welcome to my my video on how to set your live stream to have a now playing uh, now playing function. For example, the, uh, if you prefer to have your songs in a uh, to play in your live stream on your disk drive, your on your SSD, you'd rather not use the the Spotify functions. There's an easy way for you to set this, set these now playing. What you can do is you come to first of all you have to download this player here, Full Bar 2000. You go on YouTube, you go on Google, and you type Full Bar 2000. Come here, download the the the, the program. Okay. So then, uh, after setting it up, after installing the, the program, what do you do? You will uh, go to the next link I will provide on the description. You look for Fubar 2000 NP. You're going to download it. It's here. Download. Download it to your PC, to your computer, and then it's extracted. And bring the archive to the to the to the folder to the full bar 2000 folder. You go here in components and you paste it on here. Mine is already here, as you can see. It's full underscore np underscore simple dll. Then you execute. You start the the program and on preferences you're gonna go to uh, now plain simple under tools and I do I prefer uh, I will provide some different strings for you to organize your your uh, how it's gonna be shown on screen but I prefer only to use it uh, this format here I will provide at least two or three ways different ways to to show the names because I prefer to rename all my my songs with name of game or or group or something like this slash uh, uh, name of the song, not not doing anything with artist album or nothing more more complicated, but there are other ways to do it and I'll provide the link in the description. Then you press OK and after this oh I forgot here. You're gonna go and users, uh, then you, you're gonna choose a specific place to put the playlist TXT. What is this? This is going to be the archive, the note that's gonna have the name of your song. And this is going to be read, uh, read by your OBS. Oh, and don't forget to uncheck log mode and keep it UTF 8 with headers, okay? And save file. Then, after setting a, a place for it to be saved, you're going to go to your OBS. You're going to come here to, for example, um, deprecate it and text free type too. And here you have font, text. But the first thing you have to do is read from file. You're going to check read from file. And then on text file UTF 8 or UTF 16. You're going to come to browser and look for your TXT. For example, mine is here, playlist TXT. And then you choose a specific font. Let me let's go with impact. Okay, outline. Okay, I'm gonna put I don't know black. Uh, that's it. Uh, custom text. Okay. Let's let's take a look here. Uh, let me insert an image here, just as means to give you some perspective. Okay, so let's play one of the songs here I have. Um, let me... Okay, this one here. So here it's already said, ah, Sega Rayleigh to the name of the song. And here, how is it now? So the, the text will be automatically 
Sean, it will appear. And if you like, um, the song is change, changed. Automatically changes as well there. You see, um, there's different. They're different. They automatically change the the name of the the song. So that's it for now. Another another thing very nice to do is uh, also if you want to have the spectrum on your. Let me. If you want to have the spectrum of your of your song, you can choose, for example, here in two uh, bands. Like let's go with 20 bands, 20 bands, and then you come here on your OBS uh, window capture. You're gonna window capture your uh, your full bar 2000, and you're gonna go on filters. You're gonna go on the filters in the in the window, crop and pads. You're gonna crop and pads. I think if, uh, you, ha you just have to like uh, go testing up to the point that you can isolate the the, the bands. Let's go with 600, 600, 700, uh, 800, 900, 900, top, uh, 900, no, 500, yeah, 500, 400, yeah, 400, and bottom like 40. Let me click another song here, just here. Where is it? So, and then again, you go on filter and create a, a chroma key. You're gonna choose black as your chroma key color to make it invisible and then you're gonna hit reduce the similarity and if you prefer you reduce the smoothness as well and then that's it let me show you how it is on my break scene it keeps it stays like this I still have to see if I can change the colors but for now it's the way I found it more easy uh, and you can also, you see, if you change the, the bars here, you can also, let me change the bars, increase or decrease the number of bars, of bands. So that's it for now, people. I hope you have you enjoyed the, 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 the tutorial, and I see you next time. Cheers. Bye-bye.